coming off a 3-0 defeat against UC Santa Barbara, the Hoosiers came into Bill Armstrong Stadium hoping to change their fortunes against in-state rival Butler. The Hoosiers got on the board early when Darren Yeagle headed a cross from Will Bruin into the back of the net. It was the senior's first goal since his freshman year. It appeared that the IU lead grew to 2-0 in the 19th minute when Rich Balchin scored. However, it was disallowed when the line judge called off sides. The Hoosiers had many more chances throughout the game but couldn't capitalize. Two late goals by the Bulldogs, including one in the second overtime session, brought IU to its second straight defeat. Do a little soul searching, you know? Uh, sometimes you guys feel they can just put on the Indiana jersey and it's just going to happen for them. It's tougher than anybody else in the country when you put the Indiana jersey on. Teams are going to come out, fight harder against you than anybody else. Uh, and if you don't accept that challenge or don't uh, get after it, hey, you can lose. And that we have to uh, put this behind us. We got to collect ourselves. We got to. The only way. The only way it goes about is you got to go back and work, um, hold each other accountable, be positive, um, hold yourself to high standards every day, and uh, do all the little things right. Every little thing. This is a. This is a funny game. You can do a lot of things right, but if you do one or two things wrong, you get punched in the nose and. He got bloody old nose. We got bloody tonight. Yeah. The loss dropped the Hoosiers to 5-4-1 on the season, heading into a tough Big Ten conference schedule. From Bill Armstrong Stadium, I'm Cody Sherritt, Hoosier Sports Night.